Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Klonoa, or rather a new playthrough of Klonoa, because last time we finished off Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series, or no, no, Klonoa Door to Phantom Meal, sorry, I was looking at the big letters in front of me, but now we're going to start Klonoa 2 Lunatea's Ve Veil. Are you Lunatea there to the right? The character designs definitely look uh, a bit cooler in this one, more, more updated and, you know, everything, so... Uh, people seem to vastly prefer this one, so I am interested to get into this one and see what it's like. I am very, very excited. Let's see what Klonoa 2... I like Klonoa's new style. style. The new fit is pretty cool. When the Mirror Spirit is accompanying Klonoa, each stream stone is worth its double. Yeah. Okay, we've seen that before. Wow, it actually takes long enough to, yeah, load that we can see this stuff. Still got the ring. Wah that was a cool little jump. All right, here we go. New game. Let's get in here. Oh gosh, hiccups! Please have mi have mercy. Um, easy or normal? We went with normal last time, so we're gonna go with normal again. Start game in normal mode. Yes, indeedy. All right. So, what has Klonoa been up to? This time, this whole time. After you woke up from your dream. Got back to your world. That's why there are forgotten dreams. Is it a dream I can't remember? Is it a dream I won't remember? Have I forgotten the dream? Has the dream forgotten me? But there surely was a dream. Yeah, I'm really digging this new design. Klonoa looks more serious now. Punished Klonoa. Please don't drown. Lulion, patali miona la. Meow meow, unya meow. That cat is adorable. Uh, proceed. Oh, what? The dialogue has been auto proceeding this entire time, but this one actually has like I have to do it. Weird. That's the first one I've ever seen like that. You know, I already could have drowned like four times by now. So you're the new baddies, huh? Why is your dialogue the only one I have to advance myself? Weird. So you're my Gaudius and, and Joka, I'm, I'm guessing? This. With the frown, no wrong, this rank. Yeah. Legum fratio. Yeah, it's weird that some auto advances and some doesn't. That's gonna, that's gonna trip me up. Okay, wait, now it's, okay. Tonoa looks older, lankier. A nerd? Okay, so we do advance the dialogue now. It's just they have to finish their thought, and then we can hold it here. Okay, this will make it a lot easier to squeeze in commentary between bits here. Cool. Yogata. 
à tout le monde, Léon Claire. Pignon, la pop. Ow! Okay, so we have a dog friend. At least I think you're a dog. And then the evil person has a cat friend. Ah, uh -huh. oui, le mot La mieux. Tu vas pas. Via, croix. Croix. So that's just what Klonoa is. Klonoa just hops into different dream worlds. That's that's what you do. Do you even know why this happens? Also, is this is this taking place directly after one or not? Like, was Klonoa getting sent out of the other world? I, I don't know how the change of clothes would have happened if that was the case. I have to assume it's a little bit later, too, because you look slightly older, but maybe the dream version of you in that fake world was not the correct version of you now? Like, you had a... You, your version of yourself in that world was younger, but now you're older? I don't know. You, you seem older to me. Like I said, you seem slightly taller and have, like, a little bit deeper voice, I feel, but maybe I'm just making that up in my head. Well, he... Lordovia. Well, now you're going to power my ring. Okay, so... Yeah, the UI's got a little bit of an update here, but things are familiar. Now, Klonoa looks older. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. But it seems like... Klonoa might not have memories of what happened before, or... You have a little bit of the amnesia or something. Support mode allows two players to join forces. Press Y on the menu to add another player. Second player, be Popka support. Okay, we're good. Look at this animation now. Okay, we got a little bit of updated animations here. Gather up 100 Dreamstones to get an extra Klonoa. Uh, here we go. It's time to murder a Moo. So I wonder, I, I, I should have paid attention to that. Uh, Klonoa will find valuable items inside. Um, I should have paid attention to that. When, how many years difference was there between this and the first game? I'll probably look it up as soon as I'm done with this video. I did not mean to murder you. I am very sorry. Thank you for coming back. But yeah, things have definitely gotten an update in the visuals department. Like, we got a lot more moving parts here. Everything looks a little bit better. Okay, so does this, like, shoot me up? It does. Okay. So what I need to do is jump into you, and then that gets us all of those. Klonoa passes out. He'll restart at the place where he picked up the clock. Yes. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the new visuals and everything. But if I had to guess, I don't know. This looks like 1997 would have been PS1. This looks like PS2. Right? That's what I'm thinking. It, it looks... It looks just a little bit too high quality for um, PS1. Wahoo, <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so you're just giving me a tutorial on how to do a double jump? Uh, okay, yes. So Klonoa 2 was PlayStation 2, like I thought, and it came out in 2001, so this was four years later. Quite a break in a whole console generation. So this was a pretty big jump for people that played this uh, back in the day, going from the PS1 version to this. Collect the Mamet doll bells to get a Mamet doll. Cool. But gosh, I bet people were so excited to get this, especially on the PS2. God, the PS2 is a good console. Such a good console. But yeah, I, I looked that up on my phone really quickly while we were getting a tutorial on double jumping. So, all right. Ooh, pretty area. Hit Goomies hanging in midair with a wind bullet to inflate them. Why do they look like Hupo? They look like Hupo. Am I crazy or do they look like Hupo? <laughs> How dare you stand where he stood? Come here, you. All right. I'm getting up here. What are you? Using the cannons. When Kanola touches a cannon, he'll be sucked in, then shot off to somewhere far away? What? Why? Por qué? Didn't I want to continue that other way, maybe? Uh, okay. Uh, you can throw enemies at different angles. Thing. Uh, let me, let me make sure I read all of the information in that, actually. Um... Uh, throwing enemy below you. Throwing enemies at different angles. Okay, so... At the right, but also to the front with the... Okay. So, it is what I thought. I just wanted to make sure, you know, it wasn't something... Some new mechanic that I'm not familiar with. Alright, we're good. No! 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 Planoa says no! We are not having that happen. Alright, cool. Yeah, this immediately feels much more fluid and everything as well, which is, uh, quite nice. Uh, bang. Go ahead and do you a big murder. And... If I can have another moose spawn, I can get both of those. There we are. Cool, cool. So, blue dreamstones are worth five. Try to collect 150 in each stage. No guarantees will be made. But, uh... We shall see. Yeah, things just immediately feel so much better. Let's let's try one thing though. Okay, so you you still can't restart your flutter. You still can't feather your flutter. Um, that's not a thing. I mean that makes sense. It just I don't know. So like, there was how do I explain this? It felt like sometimes if I held down the A button a little bit too long when I did a jump, like. It was so much easier to accidentally do like a little baby flutter like that. And then it would cancel my flutter and I wouldn't be able to do it again. And that always screwed me up. But in this game, it feels, you know, more uh, precise, I guess. It's hard to explain, but I promise there's something there. Uh, so, boom. Uh-huh. Wahoo, indeed. These levels are definitely longer. Um, if this was the first game, I would have already finished this level by now. Wow, these fish are really hungry. Jeez. Get something else to eat, dorks. You're not hurting Klonoa. Boom. Uh, I need... that. Yep. Okay, there we go. Jump wahoo indeed! Uh. Oh, come on, my head's touching that. Give me. There we go. Give, give, give. Man, it is a bummer that uh, Klonoa hasn't had a new game. I hope they take this, the, the pretty good sales I think that this has had, as an indication of people want more of this. I just missed that. And I don't think there's any way for me to get back up there and get it. How unfortunate. Oh well, I, 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 was, I was trying to get all the gems, but here we are. I screwed it up, I did. Ride bird and move forward. Klono will move forward automatically when you're riding the bird. Use left and right to steer and collect all the dreams. Oh god, sections like this are the bane of my existence. Okay, I'm glad we're not collecting all the gems, probably. Yeah. Especially since there's not like a re- Oh, no, there is a retry. Okay. Hello, burb. 
But we won't we won't fuss about it. If I get to the end of the game and decide I want to collect everything, I can do it then. No point in making too much of a fuss about it now. Some not Gapoko eggs are invisible. Look for the shadows. Yeah. Owie. Pain. You landed right on my skull. Uh-huh. There we go. Let's reveal that one. Boom. Give. Alright, cool. Kablooey. Okay. Yeah, these levels are much longer. Jeez. When a mirror spirit is coming in Klonoa, each room stone is worth double. Okay, they don't change color anymore. Uh, a while jumping to float in the air. Fluttering jump. Alright, cool. We know about that. Mirror you. Gotta get up here. Wahoo, indeed. This is a beautiful area, by the way. I would love to live here. I would sleep here. Uh, boom. Boom? Boom, I say? Thank you. You look very funny inflated. Uh, give me that. Yeah, even the layout of the levels and everything feels like so much more, I don't know, polished. I mean, it's a sequel. The first game was an experiment. Uh, Bandai Namco wanted their own little platforming star for the PlayStation 1. And that game was definitely an experiment, and this game just kind of, you know, improves upon all of the things that we saw in the first game, which is basically exactly what I wanted. And I definitely understand. Like, it just feels so much more fluid to play immediately. Can't be- when bullets can't beat this dork. Can I still slow down? Doesn't look like I can turn the other way, weirdly, but... But yeah, it, it, it seems like it's just a straight-up improvement over the first game. So far, at least in game feel alone. Alright, just ring the bell. Well, she's warned me. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, it seems like Klonoa has kind of taken on a more serious kind of uh, personality here. Like, you're more like Lunatea, huh? Where in the first game you would have been like, Lunatea, where's that? Or something like, I don't know. You, you seemed more childish in the first game, where in this game you seem like, I don't know, more quiet and reserved. You were very like, happy-go-lucky, kind of childish in the first game. In this one you're more, you know, quiet and everything. Cool. And I gotta say, our, our friends, very adorable. Kinda, kinda loving the, the little characters we got here. People said that, um, you know, the characterization was just better for your party members and stuff in this game. So, that certainly makes sense. Look at this map. Alright. Very, very much improved map. Jeez. Baguji's Island. Well, we're gonna go ahead and play. The game just seems to decide on its own when it's going to make you confirm to progress the dialogue. At first I thought it finished one all of one character's dialogue, all lines of it, and then it did it. But now it just swapped from you to Baguji, and then it stopped the second time? It, it's weird. I haven't said this before, but I feel the need to say it now, especially with the higher detail. 
I want to feel the end of Klonoa's ears. They look so soft. Okay, okay, we gotta ring the bells of awakening. Um, and then we can go ascend to Anorlando. Yeah, I got you. We are Luba do Lunatia Viapon Landana Fiari do Genshin Donio. Okay, and why am I going on this quest? You, Berkuloda, Hutum Erna, Absam Salam. Balmu. Yeah,ドルパン。ウバラザナウダベリオ。ダフィグナベリオ。アブルディオンドエルナラ。バルダヌダ。ディオンバナムグルパラジ。キリオヘルグラン。ラバニガンダナエルナウナダ。ダフダムランバドナナ。フルディアフワロ。ウェムオーラアチュラ。ラファトミリオナクロア。バドイルダンアラマロヤ。ワフ。Please try not to sound so happy about it, Klonoa. Gosh. I do. I'm the to go on parish of Kuriarina. You'll go on for Kuriara. At Kuriara? The dog's eyes creep me out. Um. I also, yeah, it does seem like Klonoa is just known as the Dream Traveler, and Klonoa just shows up where Klonoa is needed. <laughs> I want to see Klonoa grow healthy and strong. I want to see Klonoa smile. Klonoa is amazing. You are so wholesome, and I just want to see you happy. Alright, La Luxia. Um, there's six thingamaduhickeys here. Collect the bells. Alright, La Luxia, sacred grounds, let's go. So we have four, you know, things that we need to collect, as in most video games. Uh, we gotta, well, so, so, sometimes there's more than four, but, uh, y you get what I mean. Um, we got- we got the things we gotta collect, our MacGuffins, our important story things, etc, etc. So, let's, uh, do it. We have our quest now. Your shield's got a little bit of an upgrade. So I wonder what the explanation is for the Moos always being the enemies. Is- is the person that brought the Dark Bell here, Gaudius? Like, why are these enemies common to all of these different worlds that I'm going to? Has me wondering. It would make sense if that means that Gaudius is, is here too, and Gaudius is the evil person we're about to defeat. So, I don't know. I'm just thinking here. Because otherwise, I don't know why there would be the same creatures in two different worlds. Try throwing an enemy below you and you double jump. Yep, we know about that. Let's go up here first and foremost, though. Gotta get on these twisters. Okay, wait, this might be optional? Yeah, this is optional. Okay. Big wahoos. Big, big wahoos. Give. Okay, that was the first one. Good. I was worried for a second I may have missed something. It seems like, I don't know, I might be, I might be talking out of my ass a little bit. But it seems like the range for the, for the wind ring is slightly bigger now. Which is, I, I don't know why it, why it was so hard before. It's like it was just barely too tiny to make it 
frustrating to hit things with consistently. But I'm fully open to the fact that it could just be bad. Um, give? So... Hmm. How de duty? So I can get up here and do that. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, so... Hmm. Let's see, I can't, like, throw it like that. Whoop, I didn't even mean to double jump there. Thing. Like, I'm trying to hit that. I can't just jump up this way, right? That doesn't work. Okay, I guess I just... Oh, wait, no, I just, I just need to do this. I jumped last time instead of just throwing it. But I just need to throw it. Okay, I'm 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 being a dummy. Yep, making that way harder than it needs to be. Uh Okay, but now how do you get you? Also this thing up here. Uh-huh. Well that wasn't how we did that. I'm trying to hit you. Oh, okay, there we go. We land up there. I didn't I didn't even think I would be able to land on that. And then I missed the gym. I'm not getting them all, but this one's this one's pissed me off. It's made an enemy out of me. Here we go. Cool. Boom. HP please. Weird statue. Ah, the little pots. The little platforming pots. My favorite part of the first game. Little weird platforming pots that move. Uh, come here, you. Uh... Okay, I screwed that up. Okay, no, you're, you're coming back. Cool. So the enemies actually, like... Okay, I was about to say they actually, like, run out from the environment in this one instead of spawning from a weird portal, but no, they still spawn from the portals. They still do that. Trampoline! Jump on the trampoline and you'll be able to jump higher than usual. Yay. I jumped higher than usual. All right, what else we got? We're a bit of the ways into this level. Yeah. Come here, you. Ow. Come here, you. Uh, big jumps. Yeah. More big jumps. Uh, owie. You know, I deserve that. There we are. I walked right in front of that thing. Really my fault. That was a good juke. Proud of that one. That fish wasn't expecting that. Totally tripped that fish up. Boom. Alright, more of these. A. Up here. Boom. Give, 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 give. And... Give, 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 give. There we go. Uh-huh. And give. Cool. Ah, mine, mine, yeah. I am getting a little bit low on health. We do have to watch that. I need some HP. Seems like we take a, you know, a full heart of damage now instead of reduced damage like we did in the first game. So we actually only have three hits now. Pass in front of an owl gal and you'll be gobbled up. Use an enemy as a decoy and then slip by and sit. Well, that's sad. Wow, that's... Wow, okay. Here you go. Poor thing. Uh-huh. Now I opened that up. Go over there. Cool. Yeah, this just feels like so much more of a complete, solid experience here. Really, really into this. Cool. I mean, I still feel like playing the first game was worth it. Um, but this definitely feels like just a complete improvement in, like, every aspect over the, over the first game. Okay, there you go, you big doofus. And I know I missed a gem back there, but... Oh, whale. We got most of them. It's fine. Uh-huh. Wahoo! And then over here... Hello, Moo. Yeah, just the shading and shadows and everything make just makes the world seem so much more colorful and detailed. It's very nice. Shadows and shading do a lot for art. So are you like a lion or what? What what are you? It's a, a lion? A, 
Natura Kunapa Amato Wagu Aguang, we are a Kuliana. Are you are you like a some kind of lion person, cat person, chimp person? Your your ears look kind of monkey. I don't know. You have a tail though. Also got to say the voice mixing in this one immediately better over the first one. I haven't had to adjust the settings at all, and it's just perfect, which is fantastic. Mixing is so much better in this one. Yeah, it's like it actually has mixing this time. Whereas before it was just like, they just kind of recorded the lines and if the lines were too quiet, oh well. Owie. But this time, you know, they, they did some proper voice acting for this one. Huh? I wasn't scared. You were scared. You were trembling in your seat, really. But me? No. Never. No fear. Yep. Give. Uh, okay, I can jump up there, but is there a point in... There is a point in going over there. So, come here, Moo. Beam me up. Okay, so this gets me up here. Kablooey. Uh... What? Do I need a... Do I need to get a move up there? Maybe? How am I gonna get a move over there, though? Hey, dork. So, I can get this one. Yeah, so I did, I did miss one, and it's back here, but how in the world do I... I guess... Yeah, I can grab a moo here, and then... Okay, that'll get me over there. At least. Uh, unless I miss the tornado. Wow. Fantastic job, me. Uh, okay, there we go. Huh. Okay, you're the move that I needed. Oh, why am I collecting these? Um. But I need you to... Oh. Activate. Give me another move, please. I... I need the moon, I don't want to have to come back up here, so, yeah, I needed the move, but I also needed to break open the bubble, so, whatever, we did it. Okay, so, you're hanging out over there, jump up here, Whoop. okay, none of that, then, give, at, you, and there we go. Oh god, I didn't even see those big, stupid, beady eyes. Oh wow, you spat me all the way off the- Wow, rude. Jeez, couldn't you have just, like, actually de devoured me and digested me instead? Um... Hi. Need you. Boom. There you go, eat your num-nums. Instead of me. At least you spit me out. I guess Klonoa tastes bad. Because you clearly swallow everyone else. Well, Noah does not does not taste good. Maybe it's all the hair. You are very hairy. Well, Noah. Uh, throw an enemy at the pendulum to break the pillar in your way. Okay. Boom. And boom. I missed apparently. Uh, or, or I'm doing it from the wrong spot. Oh, okay. I am doing it from the wrong spot here. Okay. We'll give me a gym. Right. HP. So I have to do it from a certain spot. So let's get a better angle here. And now throw it. There we are. Cool. And I can jump up here and go this way. Uh-huh. There we go. That's been collected. And if you'll calm down... Never mind. I said... Yeah, it's just constantly wiggling here. Yep, and my move keeps going through it. I'm trying to knock it into that other pillar. There we go. Ow. Oh, I thought you were gonna land on me, but you didn't. I murdered you before you could. Okay, cool. Up here. Bouncy. 
How dare you bounce? I am the only one that's allowed to bounce here. This is a nobody but Klonoa bounce zone. Give. Thank you. Alright, this, uh... I was gonna say this might be the end of the level, but we have one more... Uh, star thingy to get. What did it call them? Something with an M. A Muppet star? That probably wasn't it. Okay, you all just have really large ears. Very big ears. That must just be the species of people here. Wait, so I did miss one of the things. Oh no, I'm worried I like, walked right by it. Uh-oh. Uh, that makes me sad. Well, I'm gonna go back in there and grab it wherever I missed it. I might have just walked right by it, and I'm sorry if I did. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, I am immediately more interested in the characters, the characterization, the, the story. It, it Everything in this one just feels like a straight-up better version of the first game. So, that's what you always want out of a sequel. I definitely feel like some of the enemies have uh, more forgiving health uh, uh, hitboxes in this game too. A lot of the times when an enemy's spawning in, they don't, they don't actually hit me anymore, which is quite nice. So yeah, that's the end of the level and I don't see where this last thing is. It must be a hidden thing somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I was like, it, it must have been hidden. There we go. Yeah, I was wondering if that was going to be the case. It can be, it's hard for me to see the shadows sometimes. Yeah, it definitely feels like hitboxes have been adjusted for the enemies. Like, they, they don't hit you as soon as they blink into existence. Like they did before. Because that was my struggle on that final level for Baloo. The last one, the enemies would sometimes spawn. And I would be in their spawn point and take damage. Whew. Well, there we go. We did it. Cool. So, I think that's going to end it off for the first episode of, uh, what was it? Lunatea's Veil? Vale? And, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun so far. I'm definitely enjoying this one. Uh, more, more than the first one. Not that I didn't enjoy the first one. The first one's still very good, but this, like I said, is just an improvement in every way. Whoa, look at that cool town! It's on, like, a crescent ship? Look at that! Oh, that's awesome looking. 
Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs>